everyone it's Lisa so um, I know it's been a long time since I've done some videos and stuff like that but I'm gonna start to try and do some vlogging so I don't know if it'll happen every day or once a week or whatever but I guess just to kind of catch you up on kind of like my life and what's going on so um, I'm at work I'm actually stopping for a lunch break and for those of you who kind of know me um i do outside sales for uh, an oil field company so i do a lot of driving so today is thursday so it's kind of one of my gas plant days and um the gas plants are about an hour ish away from town so um and then from each one it's about 20 minutes to half an hour from one to the other so it's a lot of driving throughout the day so uh, I've already stopped to see two, so now I am stopping for lunch kind of as a break, and I'm waiting for a phone call from one of the gas plants, and so hopefully I get an answer. So I need to know um, they're having a shutdown, and um, you have to wear PPE, we call it, which is personal protective equipment, which is uh, steel toes, coveralls, uh, as well as... Um, hard hat. Uh, some of them require glass, like eye glass protection, uh, not glasses. Like there has to be like safety glasses as well as earmuffs. Uh, so depends on what their PPE policies are. I believe these guys are like full suit up gear. So, um, so yeah, I have to know that before I go to the next one so that I need to know if I need to like change out of my just normal shoes into my steel toes and stuff like that. So, um, I thought while I was waiting for that, I would do a little bit of a vlog. That's my air conditioner thing. It's turning off. It makes that noise. I don't know why. Um, anyway, so, um, I'm sitting in front of this pretty little creek. Can you see it? Sitting in front of the creek. And yes, my windshield is still cracked from when Sandra was here. Um, because I go on the roads and stuff like that get rocks flown up and into my windshield all the time so I'm not changing it until I absolutely have to because like a $500 windshield is not going to get changed until I absolutely have to and I seem to get more and more and more just because of the gravel road so um and I would be outside but there's people like camping right over here and I don't want to be like talking on uh I don't want to be talking on the thing and they're like well who's that crazy lady out there so so anyway, I just thought I would send a, do a quick little vlog and tell you what's going on in my life. So June is a crazy busy month. Oh my goodness. So my daughter's graduating at the end of June. Um, I was going to try and get her like, or like the early years album. I was going to do it all on her, but I was like, I'll just do Troy and Tasha all together and then can fight over the books whenever they're done. There's no way I'll get it done. I've gotten so much stuff thrown on my plate. It's retarded. So I have to like clean the house. We have projects that we're trying to finish up for grad, like just cleaning the house and stuff like that. So we have a basement that um, has an unfinished, it's a finished bathroom, but it needed work. So we painted, we put flooring in. Um, we painted, like repainted the cabinets so they don't look like tacky and old. And, um, so we did that and then like just cleaning up the downstairs. Cause like the kids will hang out downstairs. They always do. And then, um, just like the other stuff, like, you know, uh, you know, just spot cleaning as well as just kind of like, you know, taking like the fingerprints off the wall and stuff. So it's a lot of work. And then it's like, I have to still plan the food part out. I still have to like make a photo booth. She wants a photo booth and, um, she wants to play some minute to win it games, like the home games. So, um, I still have to plan that out. And, oh, and then there's, um, there are a whole, like these kids are all in drama. So they want to play like a home version of, um, whose line is it anyway? So, you know, it's like coming up with all those ideas and it's like, oh my goodness, like it's just all on me. So that's part number one. Part number two is uh, Troy had, if you've seen on Instagram or on Facebook, I posted a picture of Troy's back, like an x-ray of Troy's back. 
and uh, we found out that he has scoliosis. And if you guys don't know what scoliosis is, oh, hang on. Um, I need to plug my phone in. Hang on. I already got the. You are almost out of battery. Please plug me in. So yes, let me just plug that in. Um. So yeah, he uh, was diagnosed with scoliosis uh, last Thursday. So what scoliosis is, is a, it's a hereditary, I don't know if you want to call it like a disease, I guess, kind of, um, anyway, you're born with it. So, um, it's like a natural curvature, well, I guess an ear, not, uh, or a unnatural curvature of your spine. So it like makes it look like an S, um. And the way that physiotherapists said is like, if you can picture your knuckle, like this is how your back is supposed to sit. People with scoliosis, it's like twisted. So when you stack like all the um, vertebrae on top of each other, it'll like twist. And then he goes, and then uh, the back will try to like uh, correct itself. Like the spine will try to correct itself. So it'll go like this and then it'll like twist back. So that's how you get like that S pattern in the back and some people have it worse than, than other people and, and Troy is like a mild case so um that's not that bad but he does have to go for physio and learn how to sit up straight like he's supposed to like have perfect posture now and um he has to do some exercises so physio is going to be once a week for the next little while until you know, see how it goes. So I've got that going on. And, um, then last Monday I was out at one of the customers that I'm waiting to go see today. And, uh, they asked, uh, myself and another, uh, supplier of theirs to do a joint barbecue because we usually do joint sales calls there. And they asked us if we would do a barbecue in two weeks. So, on the 23rd we do a barbecue for this gas plant company and then um, I have to do Tasha's graduation barbecue for family and friends on the following Friday so like the 23rd and then the 27th I'm doing two barbecues so I'm just like up to here with the amount of freaking stress and I don't know if you can see it but there's some white stress right there right there right there's some white stress so I got to get that taken care of before grad, as well as some other things. So I am so up to here with work and everything else. So anyway, yeah, it's been a crazy freaking June. So I don't know how many videos I'll be doing of the vlogging. I was going to try and do every day, but if I can't do every day, it'll be like maybe once a week or something. So you guys can uh, just kind of follow up on what's going on in my life. Um... As for what else? Oh, videos. Um, I'm oh, what have I been doing? Crafty stuff. I guess I should talk about that. So I've been doing the iCads. I've been pretty good at being caught up. Um I am behind I think three. So I didn't do yesterday's or the days bef day before's and I still have to do today's. So I'm gonna try and get those out or those done tonight. And I still have a whole bunch of other like scrapbooking projects that I have to do but um yeah I don't know that's probably going to be put on the back burner until uh July I honestly think so I have a lot of things going on um yeah so I think on Saturday Tash and I are headed into the city to get a whole bunch of like grad stuff and then I'm gonna get some stuff that I need to for uh that company barbecue that we're planning so just so that my life is not as up to here when it gets too close to graduation in that barbecue. So, uh, yeah. Um, what else is I going to tell you? I, there's birds flying around. It's kind of cool. So, it's so cool. I get so distracted. but So, yeah. It's been a crazy, crazy June. And honestly, I can't wait for July. Um, my kids are done school. Um, Tasha wrote an exam today and I don't think she goes back until July 17th. She writes an exam on July 17th and then I think she's done. So like 10 days before she graduates, she's done. And then Troy, I think his last day of school, I 
think is the 17th or the 27th too. Like I think his last day is the 27th. I don't remember. But either way, he probably won't be able to go because Natasha's graduation, like her commencement and everything like that, is on the 27th at 1 o'clock. So he won't be able to go to his last day of school. I'm sure he's bummed out about that. But, um, yeah. Oh, uh, driving today, I saw a little bunny rabbit on the side of the road. I'll see if I can uh, put the picture of the bunny rabbit in here. He was so cute. Yeah, so I think that's it. If anything else comes up, I will definitely blog or blog, vlog, whatever. <laughs> I'll vlog somewhere. But anyway, that's all I have going on for this moment. I'm sure there will be more. Um, so anyway, bye. Okay, guys, I thought I would show you what PPE is. Oh, let me hang on. Just because I got a phone call from them and they're like, yes, you need PPE on today. So these are coveralls. I'm going to stand back there so you can see what it looks like. Here's my hard hat with my earmuffs. And I'm rocking my steel toes. I'll show you those close up because they're funky because I got to dress it up a little bit. And it's gonna suck because I'm totally wearing a ponytail and it's gonna like hit here. So, didn't think the hair thing through. So, hang on, I'm gonna back up over here. I'll run back over here. I hope you can see. Can you see? So, anyway, that's what it looks like in the full coveralls. And then I gotta show you my boots. Hang on. Where are they? Here's my boots. See, here's my laces. Hang on, where are you? Hang on. Here's my boots. I love my laces. They're like neon red. I love it. And then the fucking mosquitoes are like crazy here. They're like flying around my truck trying to get inside so they can eat me. See? Hi, everybody. So anyway, I'm off to the gas plant. Um, that one I'll probably be in there for a while because um, they're on their shutdown, like I said. So... Anyway, I have to go through some, I think, um, I have to go through their orientation or whatever, just because it's the turnaround, so normally I can go in there no problem, but I think I have to go through orientation. Oh my god, those skills are crazy. I forgot to show you with my hard hat on. Like, those are pump jacks. Uh, they're like for pumping oil and stuff like that, circulating the oil. So, there's like a few of them here, but anyway, this is me and my hard hat. There's people driving along, they'll see me crazy, but you can see my hair's all messed up. That's what happens. And then here's my little earmuffs. So I can't hear you guys right now, sorry. I don't know. Anyway, so um, you can see I totally have like hard hat head now. So um, it's freaking hot out. I pulled over so that I'm finished all my gas plant run for today. Ugh. So I'm going to like change out of these freaking clothes. I'm freaking dying. It's so hot out. So I'm going to change out. I think I'm done for today for uh, my gas plant run. So, and then I have to run home and do mom stuff, you know. So anyway, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay, so finally I'm sitting at home on my deck. So... Just give you an overview. That's Wade's awesome barbecue. The most expensive charcoal barbecue we've bought because you can see it's got two sides. That side is quite a bit wider and is propane. Oops, and that side is charcoal. Oh wait, no. That side's charcoal. That side's propane. And like, if you can see, the charcoal side's quite a bit smaller than the propane side. So, and we've only ever really used the charcoal side. So, I think we used the propane side like three times. So, a little bit of that expensive charcoal barbecue, but it's so good. So worth it. Um, I stopped for a Slurpee on the way home. Blue raspberry is my absolute favorite. So, blue raspberry. So, um, I still haven't make supper yet, but I don't know what to make for supper. Honestly, I don't even really care. 
Um, it's really nice out. It's about 20 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is. It's probably about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know. If somebody can convert it, that would be awesome. So, finally home, sitting on the deck, enjoying the nice day. I'm going to sit out here, and I think that's going to be the end of my vlog for today. Um, I've got a lot of other things I have to do. I've got some laundry to throw in. And um, I think Sandra and I are going to Skype tonight. We're going to test out some things that uh, we want to do. So I think that'll be fun. And uh, yeah, so I guess I will see you guys next time in the vlog. Uh, bye.